So for those of you who don't know me, can you tell us about a little bit about your background, mainly maybe in sports, like uh, you grew up, uh, what sports did you do? How did you discover arm wrestling? If you did maybe some powerlifting before, like tell us a little <laughs> bit about your background. Like we want to know how, like how strong you are, what you did before. <laughs> okay. So uh, first of all, like when I was a child, uh, ex like example of huge power for me always been my father. Like, mm -hmm. and now also, it, not, nothing changed. Uh, my father is a big man. He's also two meters high, uh, hand bigger than mine. <laughs> He's very <laughs> strong. And he never told me some stories about himself. It was always like another guys, another people uh, tell me, oh, kid, do you know who are your father? <laughs> do you know how strong he is? And uh, <laughs> told me some legends, some stories about something which my father did. So I was really impressed by that and the uh, example of uh, power, it's always been my father for me. Always my older brother, but uh, firstly, it was my father. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always, from the, my childhood, like some sports activities, like every kid, yeah. Uh, it was uh, athletics, uh, football, like in Europe, we call it soccer, yeah. Uh, after that, it was uh, usual gym, like, for example, push-ups so <laughs> pump your your little bit with uh you know with iron and uh something really really simple without any specific trainings we just wants to be stronger and bigger because we was like uh teenagers and after that i'm going to the section of athletics i'm uh, was uh disc sower so uh, i'm throwing the disc yeah I even uh, take part in the competitions in this uh, and uh, won some medals. Actually, won the first place in our region. So we have the country and we have the regions in the country. And I was the champion of our region. Uh, also, I was <laughs> even uh, won some competitions in running in short distance, oh, like okay. 100 meters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after that, after that, when I go into the university. Uh, it's not so many sports, but I remember that it was like a uh, good gym. It was available for us to go to the good gym. And we, of course, use this possibility. Mm -hmm. We go to the gym. We chat with everybody. We like make a gym community. It was like my first practice with a real good gym. Yeah. And um, we enjoyed the process. Uh, <laughs> enjoying the process when you spend the time with the people who always love the sport and you also love the sport. You ma it makes you happy makes you happy when around you people who has same values uh, like or the same things you like and uh, you share your emotions you share your happiness with the people it makes you happier it really makes you happy mm -hmm. and uh, after that i remember it was maybe second year of or third year of the university and i uh, walked around the uh, campus and uh, watched the placard where it will be something like uh, go try yourself on the arm wrestling and uh, I'm going to try and I remember I also uh, take first place in my category and second place in the open category. In our and guys after that invite me to the section. They say, oh, you have like, you have good genetics. You can be good in this, try this. And they give me a gym uh, account for free. <laughs> of course I go because this was the reason like, I was a student. It was an amazing reason to go to the gym because you have free access to the gym. How many times, how you want. I actually even ask them, can I take my friends? They say, okay. And I say, friends, we have a free gym. Let's go. <laughs> and something like that. <laughs> and I remember we like do everything. We, like bench pressing, start with uh, some uh, heavy liftings and uh, trains so uh, a lot. Uh, but it was it was section with our medicine, but we train by by ourselves without coaches without anybody just just we have a dream it was enough for us to be happy mm -hmm. uh, and uh, i remember i take a part in some took part in some competitions uh, there it was not so serious sometimes i won sometimes i lose but it was just for fun we we don't train special special for that we just enjoy the process and uh, we go into the gym. <laughs> the main thing that makes us happy is free gym, yeah? Mm -hmm. And after that, I remember sometimes we, we need to, uh, to make exams or tests. We don't you know, go too much to the gym. We study. <laughs> we start to study, <laughs> yeah? It was something like that. 
mm-hmm. and uh, to like now we come closer to the epic story. And uh, when I changed my uh, or like uh, I passed my exam, good. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was so happy and uh, have um, more time. After that, I uh, remember that the guys invited me to some event. It was event like with the cars, big car shows, everything like drifting on the cars, bikes, so or big trucks, everything. And also, I remember on that event was uh, open competition in our messenger for everybody, so everybody can take part. Mm. I took part in that competition. It was in Poland, in Katowice, in big um, event, and uh, I won with some guy. Who actually in that moment uh, was like uh, strongest arm wrestler in the Poland. Wow. He was on off season. He was not prepared that somebody can do something with him. And the guy says to me, "Do you know who you defeat? You defeat the strongest guy." <laughs> I was are you serious? You maybe kidding me? Something <laughs> else. And uh, after that, they start to invite me to like not professional arm wrestling club, but special arm wrestling club, not just gym where is a table, but invite me to the gym where uh, other arm wrestlers train. Yes. And uh, after that, I'm uh, starting to train arm wrestling. It was 2017, I remember, when I took part in the Polish Cup. No, no, I'm even earlier I took part, but I never won. And in uh, 2017, I won open category left and right. Okay. And after that, uh, they invite me to the Zloty Tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, I go in there and I've been uh, third. The first was Levan. Uh, <laughs> I remember Silai was there, Laletin was there, but I, I've been uh, upper than them. It was lucky day, you know. It was not about the power. I think it was just my lucky day. And after that, I have my first arm fight, Vendetta. Mm-hmm. It was in Italy. <laughs> it was oh, in Italy with... With Manuel Battaglia, really. Ah, Manuel yeah. Battaglia, okay, okay. Yeah, so my first uh, arm fight was in Italy. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> funny, yeah? I'm going to the Italy. I like the people, of Italian people are amazing. I like everything. It was a cool place in the Brescia. Okay. It was a really cool place, nice place. Mm-hmm. And uh, everything was so cool. I remember I won that uh, uh, yeah, arm fight with Manuel, but Manuel is a great person. I you have to I remember that I for Italians. You destroy Manuel. You destroyed Eric. Oh come on! <laughs> I remember that I feel it was not so important to, to me to win or lose. I was happy to have this possibility to go somewhere like uh, arm wrestler to meet other people and to enjoy into the process. It was like I'm connected to the world or arm wrestling, yeah. and in that uh, time I'm watching some videos, other athletes. I was interested to like, uh, to know something more about. Mm-hmm. I was really happy. I was really happy. I remember that. Yeah. And after that uh, was second Vendetta All-Stars with uh, Scott Mendelssohn oh, yeah. in uh, Poland, in Rumia. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me, like I watched the videos of Denis Seplenkov, Andrei Pushkar, other great athletes. And for me, just watching them was really impressed and interesting and to be on the one stage with them was amazing <laughs> i remember like now like today i remember the fever and uh, i won with the scott that day uh, actually it was a little bit sad day because uh andre pushkar or uh, passed oh yeah oh, it was he, yeah yeah so we, we was sad about that but uh, like competition or uh, uh took part and uh everyone saw or did what he needs to did. And uh, after that, after that, I remember that they started with a project of top eight. It should be like huge names in the top eight. But I remember that some of American guys uh, have the contract with the WAL and yes. they cannot enjoy in that moment. So it was the three places. And uh, I remember that uh, they take new guys and I was one of the new guys there so it was amazing too fast for me really too fast I don't expect but I cannot say no I can no I don't want it <laughs> of course I want it so I know it's like a lucky ticket to go there and I was not ready I was I was a fresh man I was not uh, like experienced such how I need to be experienced to go there yes. but it was amazing chains and I I say to myself uh, if not today so wh- when I can do this yeah and uh, 
I, I try my best. <laughs> I remember the emotions. It was so emotional, you know. It was so emotional day. Like uh, you push your limits. You check where's your limit. You want to check how strong you are, how how better you can be. And uh, it was amazing, cool, cool day. And it was not one cool day because it was three stages. Top eight, like first stage, second stage, and three stages. So three times when you pull. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, first I was losing with a smaller guy, with uh, Anger Bio, yeah. uh, which was trained like 15 years. I asked him how many years you train, and he said, I train like from the childhood, <laughs> right? And train more than 15 years. And I understand that this sport is not so simple. It's a really cool sport where you need to invest your time to understand everything, to understand yourself, to understand how to be better arm wrestler, to learn something from the other guys and open your uh, strong uh, sides and to uh, limit your weaknesses. So it was interesting, really interesting to work on yourself when you make a goal and uh, you go into your goal. I remember the second stage, which was the Trubin. I was a little bit better, but also small things, uh, which you before you don't know how important these small things. And uh, small things shows that the small things are very important in our sport. I remember I lose second stage, and the third stage was Rastam Babai, yeah. who actually won with Trubin. And everybody says, oh man, you have no, no chance. Mm -hmm. And I was motivated. <laughs> I was motivated. To, to, to be some, something better version of myself. And I'm starting to do something special. It's so like, okay, I, I think about how I can want, what to do for this. And I'm starting to train specially what, what, what I need. Mm -hmm. And I was remember, I, I was really happy when it works because I was not sure for 100% that it will be works, but it works. And I won 6-0 with Rastam, it was the final stage and also it was the final stage in Poland so oh, all okay. Polish fans say oh amazing <laughs> nobody expecting you do something not expected from you it was cool mm -hmm. uh, you know it was it was the story about first uh, top eight after that we have the pandemia of coronavirus we have the break uh, before that I remember I was uh, uh, preparing myself to the match with some of two guys who took first and second place on the Zloty Tour. Okay. It was Tobias Sporn and uh, uh, Rimkus. I don't remember the name of yeah, the, the, the very strong guys who, who take first and uh, second place. It was also Silayev. He automatically goes because he takes uh, first place. He goes to the Zloty Tour without transitional fight. Uh, and uh, also, I remember Krasimir should be going without transitional fight. And uh, two guys who will like who is myself. Mm -hmm. It should be or Tobias or David Rinkus. Or David I, so I don't. I'm not sure. I'm sorry about that. David David Rinkus. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was. Uh, think I have like months uh, of preparation, and the, in the last uh, they change, <laughs> they change for the Krasi. So Krasi also not know that he will pull with myself, and I was preparing for somebody who is big with long arm. Mm -hmm. So it was another preparation, <laughs> which is very important actually. For, for that moment, I mean. yeah. Uh, we pull very long arm fight with Karasi. He I won't see. respect for him. He gives me very big lesson, and after that, I was extra motivated, <laughs> extra motivated. Take a lesson, like I said after, like I said after to the Hermans that this type of lessons uh, give us the answer how to be better. So, because if you are just one. Okay, that's enough, but you don't have motivation to be better version of you. You already won, so okay, that's mm -hmm. enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you have a goal, big goal, and you have a lesson how to do, what to do to be better, you extra motivated, and you work on yourself. And also we have pandemia, so it was two years, but we don't have any competitions. We can work on ourselves. And I start to train hard. And I remember it was possibility uh, to take arm fight with Richard Lapkis, which I really respect. He's a great athlete. He was yeah. pulling with Dennis and show very, very powerful mm -hmm. pulling. Uh, but uh, it was postponed because, uh, because of pandemia first. And second, uh, Richard take, uh, got sick on uh, COVID. Oh. So I say to Richard, I will be waiting just to come back to healthy and strong and good life. 
and everything will be okay. And I remember the second proposal was uh, to pull with uh, Ryan Espy on uh, right on armors at Arnold Classic Birmingham. Mm -hmm. So I am go there, prepare myself as as so possible, <laughs> best way as I can. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pull both hands. So right hand and left hand. It was two super matches, six round right, six round left. And uh, it was an amazing atmosphere. So many people, crowd around of you, they come there to like towards the show. So they are really interested. They uh, they they are so like powerful. The, 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 a lot of people, and they are so powerful. Like they have impact on you. You mm -hmm. give the energy for them, and they give back this amazing energy for you. So you like uh, you know you you feel it. You feel it in the process, in enjoying it. And I remember I won uh, with Ryan on the right and on the left. On the right, we pull only two rounds because unfortunately, Ryan has uh, some uh, bad things with uh, elbow. And he says me, and of course, if, if it's impossible to continue, it that doesn't have any sense. I don't know if he actually need, uh, he writes me that's something like he needs to make a surgery because it was some, some uh, really bad problem. With that, but I hope he will come back stronger and everything will be okay. So I really hope that uh, good doctors help him to come back to their normal shape, to be healthy and strong and everything will be all right. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, it was possibility with Tobias. Actually, to, like less than one month between, yeah, it's, it was uh, like in the end of September with Ryan. And I don't remember, actually, it was... Uh, maybe yeah, yeah, one month after it was the, the fight with Tobias in Kiev, we go there, and Tobias was really prepared. Tobias uh, showed himself in the Zloty Tour uh, when he was like 15 or 12 kilos less. I don't remember how how much exactly, but he was smaller version, and he was really dangerous. He was like young, fresh, wants to fight. And extra motivated, and I know what it means to be extra motivated. And now he came bigger. He is big. He is strong. He is motivated. Uh, everybody says it. So Alex Kudesha <laughs> don't have uh, so much chances to, to do something with that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was also motivated, <laughs> actually. <laughs> that was the secret. That I was really also trained hard, and mm -hmm. uh, we pull with Tobias. He is a great person. Great uh, athlete. Uh, that day was, I think, also my lucky day, so I won 6-0, yeah. Mm -hmm. And after that, I don't plan anything because I don't see uh, any uh, like uh, extra competitions in the nearest time. But in one week, uh, Igor from Professional Wrestling Leagues calls me, you know, uh, there's uh, things that you can pull with uh, Hermes because Dima Trubin has injured his chest. And it was two weeks so I have two weeks <laughs> of preparation before the fight with Hermes. Wow. Not so many, really. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks, it's not so many, believe okay. me. But I say, of course, yes. I said, come on, yeah, I will go. And uh, I'm uh, doing uh, hardly what I can do during this time. Uh, I like know how strong Hermes. I watched uh, his video with uh, everybody, with Matt Mask, with... Uh, Michael Todd, with uh, actually with Trubin Dimitri, with Rustin Babayev, even when he was lighter, smaller, yeah. and not so dangerous, he won everybody of these guys. And now he was amazing. He was very, very good shape, big, strong, fast, and also motivated. <laughs> so, uh, like, I think, like, I know what I uh, know, like, what I can expect for myself. I know that he's very strong. I go with these uh, things in my mind uh, to the Moscow. It was really also not, not so easy to get to the Moscow because of visa questions, uh, the relations and politics between the countries. But we got there, we had the possibility, and we make the arm fight. And what about arm fight? I think, I think you watched it. So I will not uh, make some comments. I will answer your questions about the arm yes, fight. But yes, I will definitely have some things to ask you about it, yes. Yeah, so that's the story from the beginning. It was a long story, but I tell you everything. From the yeah, beginning, yeah. 
to the point where I'm today. Okay, yeah. So uh, just uh, two quick, very questions. I know that uh, they mentioned a lot of, about you, about uh, you played the American football, and I didn't yeah. hear it in this uh, story. Maybe you missed it or you didn't put it on purpose. I don't know. You also played American football, right? Through the through Yeah, the yeah. Uh, I also uh, played from 2016, I remember. I even, it was the time when I like uh, also train and arm wrestling in American football. Okay. And it was the time when I was more interested to uh, train uh, American football than arm wrestling. Yeah. Because also it depends from the events. You know, it's a big field, big mm -hmm. teams and uh, crowd on the outside. And it makes, I'm emotional. <laughs> really, I'm emotional guy. Okay. It makes emotions on you. So I remember that I was so uh, interested because it's a new sport. I want to try it. And I even uh, don't uh, take part in Polish competitions. It was maybe in 2016. Yeah, really. I don't uh, take any competitions in 2016 because I, I take a lot of competitions in American football. I was really impressed by this. Uh, and uh, oh, a lot of guys write me something. <laughs> Sorry for that. And uh, uh, it, later, later, it was like, I think uh, it's all, all, all because of the Polish Cup. In 2017, when I go, it was organized. Very cool. I can uh, send you later the videos. It was with the fire, with a special stage. Wow. It was like a uh, very, very special place, and special people was there. Was every uh, strongest uh, ambassadors of the Poland was all over one one place. So it was very good organized by mm -hmm. by uh, Jakub Janje from Poland. He uh, like uh, did perfect job. So <laughs> it also like has impact on us, on athletes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And after, it was in American you can Football League of Poland. Uh, league goes, like, broken in two leagues. Like, was one strong big league and broken two leagues. So, it was not so many interesting competitions. And we have, like, also some clubs. It was one strong club, and now, now it was, like, separated. So, the same, like, W... Uh, AF, you know, and uh, the story was PAL. Before that, it, they was cool, like together. And after that, like if you start competitions there, it's impossible to go there. If you start there, it's impossible to go there. It's okay. kind of politics, which I really not really like because yeah, yeah. I think it's cool when you can take part in every competition you want. But mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. okay, is for example good that we have in this time of pandemia we have some competitions. It's mm -hmm. it's good things. So about American football, that's the story. Yeah. Okay. So currently you don't doing it anymore. You stopped with American football, right? Yeah. Yeah. When the league was uh, separated, mm -hmm. uh, they invite me, of course, <laughs> but it's not the same uh, like before. And I think uh, also. Uh, it was more possibilities in arm wrestling. In arm wrestling, we're starting to do some uh, interesting events, more events. And I think, okay, I will concentrate now in arm wrestling. In arm wrestling, it was uh, some big, some big travels. We go to the China, to Malaysia, you know, it was uh, a lot of travels, mm -hmm. a lot of spending time with interesting people. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's why, like, I uh, go in more to arm wrestling. Like, okay. before that, it was football in arm wrestling. And after that, I'm going like there. Yeah, I understand. And the progress uh, was uh, very clear. Uh, another thing I want to ask you very quickly is, uh, since I'm a powerlifter and there is a big community of powerlifting uh, transitioning to arm wrestling, just for fun, I want to ask you how much you squat, bench, and deadlift, overhead press. What's your biggest gym's uh, lifts? Uh, how much? Oh you come on, come squat? on! It's not so so big numbers, so I really <laughs> I really shy to. It's just yeah, for well, fun. It's just for fun. Before that, when I was a little bit playing in strong man, yeah, I remember I was best uh, bench was two hundred and fifty. <laughs> but you know, it's not so. It's not that the result for me because I'm on the biggest base category, yeah. and then other people was approximately three hundreds, and I only two hundred and fifty. Uh, so it was not a good uh, result enough. That's a very good uh, point, Alex. That's a very oh, good come point. <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you so much, but I know the reality. Uh, also, with the leg, I never do the good squats. We did uh, squats in the machine because it was a little bit safe because we don't have a special technique. And American football says you have to do special things just in the when you play on the line. You need to be aggressive. You need to push very strong and very hard. I remember I did the half of the tone but it was in the machine, so I don't know how many it will be in the uh, usual kilos. Yeah, I think it will be not really not so much. 
Uh, what else? Um, we also do some strongman's exercise with, yeah. you know, big, uh, how it calls it, wire flips. Yeah. Wire flips. Like a big, big uh, when tire, you need to. Right? The tire flip or the stone. Yeah, 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 tire flip. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We did tire flip and the same uh, what uh, big strongman's did. <laughs> so, okay, we did it. Uh, also, what was, was interesting. I remember we, we lift something on the biceps, yeah? And we do something for the wrist, yeah. something for the fingers. Mm -hmm. I, of course, closed uh, Captain of Courage number three and half. Wow. Uh, I mostly closed uh, Captain of Courage number four, but it was mostly, mostly doesn't count. Yeah. Not so many people like did it <laughs> like uh, <laughs> to, make, to make it correct with the number four. Yes. So... Uh, what else interesting i don't think to be honest i don't think i have like some good results in uh, heavy lift yeah because i not never train it specially uh -huh. and i have a lot of friends who train it specially so i know their results and i know that my results are nothing compared to their results yeah mm -hmm. well alex a 3.5 gripper is like traffic very very good and if you didn't know it, Denis Siplenko, best bench press in competition was 270 kilos, and he was a power lifter. So Probably 280, as I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did in, like, in the gym, like 280, 290 even, but in official yeah. competition was 270. But hey. Really? You know, yeah, in uh -huh. official competition, I'm sure Denis Siplenko, with the pause, he did the 270. That was his max. But in the uh -huh, gym, okay. he did way more, I think. So, okay, amazing. So you weigh 150, 60 kilograms and you're two meter and two, two meter and three, right? Two meter and three. And uh, like uh, my waist uh, is compare uh, what the opponent, <laughs> it can be 150, 146, seven or 155. <laughs> it depends from the opponent. Okay, okay. With Ryan, I was the biggest version of myself. Uh, before that, I was even bigger, but it was bigger with the fat <laughs> about okay. muscles it was my biggest version versus the ryan when we yeah, uh, take part um, in arm wars even when uh, Hermes saw you because i spoke even with Hermes, we spoke uh, we speak often and he told me that from the last time he he saw your videos uh, you were uh, the same weight kind of but way less fat and way more muscle so like you did a very nice point. yeah it's true so he was yeah. very impressed about that so okay and how old are you very quickly uh, 29. Okay, perfect. So, for the main question, wow, what the hell happened? Everybody wants to know how did you improve so much, like from going to, you know, struggling with the Ongarbayev, with the Krasmir Konstantinov and everything to going, you know, people, we can't say this guy is the best, this guy is the best. But before this competition, people consider Hermes to be Top five for sure. Like, you know, have yeah. Lovan, uh, Vitali, of course, maybe Gennady, Dave, maybe Hermes, you know, like you, you can mix, you can play with this. People were saying Hermes, Hermes, Hermes. But now everything flipped over. Now people say uh, Alex got to be top three. Hermes. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't I like it when people uh, tell like this. And I, I, I will tell time I, will show us. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And like Hermes was talking to me and he say he's really convinced that you could beat Vitali. Maybe you can even maybe be a challenge for Lovan. So what did you do specifically, maybe in training or maybe in technique wise? Because your technique, especially in the setup, has improved a lot. You don't give yeah, up. True. Like it, 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 we saw it. We saw it. So what did happen from, you know, that time to last week? Oh, I think like uh, after my last competition with Hermes, I have time to think what I need to do, to think and understand what is the important things between all the trainings which I did and uh, which has most and biggest impact on my pulling at the table. So I just understand uh, my mm, biology, like my uh, biomechanics yeah, of my arms yes. and uh, start to try to understand how to train in better way. I check it. I know that now, even now, I don't like uh, understand it uh, how as good as possible. Yeah, but I don't, I understand that I don't uh, uh, check everything. I need to check more and uh, after that, when I will be 
like ready to say that okay now i know something about myself and i know how to be the strongest version of myself now i know that i'm stronger than before but uh, i also like studying every, every every day studying something new check something new so mm -hmm. it was i think the um, the time the time and my motivation gives me possibility to open my main weapon in uh, in uh, arm wrestling so i started to uh delayed my weaknesses yeah working on my weaknesses and uh improve my uh, strong side mm -hmm. and uh honestly because yeah i'm i'm understand that i'm not a small guy and i think that so for big guys it's so uh, if you understand how to train you pro you can make a good progress okay. especially when you do mm, the best things you cannot do mm -hmm. yeah but of course, uh, I understand that it needs time. Well, I understand it, before. for example, Vitali in Levan. Levan, I remember he like took part in the Europeans and world competitions from the 2012, maybe. I'm not sure, but I understand how long way he takes to be yeah. this Levan for, for of today's, yeah. And with Vitali the same. So I know that I'm I'm a usual guy. I also need to understand that I should be polite. And I should work on myself, and I I need to be ready to work years by years by years, and not to be expect too much for myself for today. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy about the results from today. I'm really happy that I understand how to be better and wrestler. So that's yeah. the main thing when I'm starting understand more. But I know that I don't understand everything, and uh, that I don't know everything about our wrestling. I, I know that it's. It's like a big book. <laughs> so I know maybe 10 pages of big book of arm wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm really interested to, to study. Yes. I like it. Amazing, amazing. We are very excited to see what you will do in the next matches in top eight and also outside of top eight. And we were really excited to see how, how much can you improve because, hey, you have amazing potential. So uh, <laughs> you are in Canada right now. Is there a possibility, if you can tell us, to pull maybe with the Devon No Limits or... With the wild horse mat is it going to happen yeah oh yeah, yeah. amazing so it's going to be practice pools uh, yeah head. it will be practice pools because of course i understand he has a match with john he yeah. also like very serious with that uh like for me also like now i more rest and uh, i i share my uh, my ex i i don't have so much uh like uh, how to say so much big book in my mind but i want to share what i have in yes, this moment yeah yes. so i will share about everything knowledges what i have for today and also we will discuss everything and, oh, you know it's funny to meet so uh, with the people who like also love the same thing that with, with what you love yeah we will discuss we will practice i will show something for them also i think they show me something and, uh, mm -hmm. it's really nice to go somewhere it's my first time in canada i'm really impressed now there's snow outside. <laughs> it's <laughs> cool. It's really cool. <laughs> nice. So when are you gonna meet with Devon? When are you gonna guys pull? Uh, you know, I think it will be probably. I don't want to uh, tell like everything now, okay. but I think uh, there's a chance it will be after he's out. Oh. Uh, before maybe, maybe, but uh, I know that he wants to concentrate. He's really serious. He's yeah, really serious. Cool. He like know that John can do a lot. Can do a lot before this iron fight. Uh, actually, I want to ask you, what do you think about who will win, uh, Devon or John? Okay, so I'm, you know, I will. I, I think Devon will win the uh, the competition after all, right? But I think John can get at least a pin, at least a pin, because you know, on the on the side there is the the stake uh, the staking. So it's um, if John pins Devon once, then you know uh, the people who betted on John will win. But it's such an interesting match because, you know, we can only base it on the videos we see online. And like we saw John lately pulling in a lot of competitions against Michael Todd. And we didn't see a lot about Devon. We, we only know that he no. destroyed Michael. We, we know that he was very strong. But we didn't, we didn't see, you know, anything else. From top of my mind, and I was very bad with prediction because I lost <laughs> on your bet with Hermes. But I think, I think Devon will win. And but I think John will take at least a pen. Mm, I see. I yeah. see. It depends on. The I speed. speak a lot with Michael with Devon. Michael uh, tells me 
that so when I ask you about what what was the feeling, how it was like when they pull in the first king of the table in Dubai and they uh, they won one six zero, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I uh, ask him how it was, and he says that that day he was feel like he take the strongest arm he ever take. So it was the feeling like that. Wow. Yeah, so I, I believe to Michael. So I, if he says like this, so I, I think that Devon was really, really strong that day. And it was, I think it's absolutely right that uh, Devon was the heaviest version of himself that day. But after he was held the uh, boxing match with the tour, yeah, it was <laughs> yeah. absolutely another preparation. Uh, only one month of preparation, but I think that Devon also concentrated on that. It was happened like like we all saw, yeah. We see what was happened, but uh, after that, uh, I don't know. After that, probably Devon don't have any competition, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, after and, that, uh, nothing scheduled, no. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I know that John has a lot of competition, a lot of arm fights. Firstly, with uh, like uh, I don't remember all all his name, but I. I I think like five competitions at least. Yeah, with uh, firstly with Chen Shaw, then he uh, with Paul Lin, then yeah. Dimitri, I don't remember his last name, a Russian Kachan. guy. Yeah, yeah. And he did like recently, I think last week, like an actual tournament. Uh, oh. And he pulled with a lot of strong guys. He pulled like with Michael, with Todd Hutchkins in meanwhile. Like he did a lot of things actually. So yeah, yeah. he pulled yeah. a lot and he published a lot and we see him getting stronger every time, every, every time. He's the GOAT for a reason, you know, he's uh, the best of all time for a reason. He's incredible to see his progression. Yeah, yeah. And I think that it's also very important that he has this time and also he has this possibility to check and check and check. So he adds something, check himself. Add something, check himself. So he, uh, I think he, he know what he can expect from himself. Uh, and I think... I think it will be very interesting match. Uh, it will be like a uh, kind of show. I think it will be like... Uh, it, no, I, I'm 100% sure that it will be not boring match. It will be not like bam, 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 six times spin. And mm -hmm. I, I think it will. It can be very interesting match. Mm -hmm. So you want to give a prediction? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I love both of them. I love John. We, uh, John also makes uh, some wishes from me uh, before the Ryan SP with uh, Hermes he makes the wishes to Hermes I know yeah. it I know John that you did yeah. but I know it <laughs> uh, with them and we also like uh, speak a lot and uh, you know I will support the interesting match I really want I know that for every one of them it also will be big plus if match will be interesting and it's, if it will be interesting not because one of them will be stronger and make a show mm -hmm. you know who I mean <laughs> <laughs> but I mean that they both will be equal and uh, do the best they can yeah and it will be truly good tough match Yes, yes, I really want it. I yes. know that's not a big chance about that, but I believe and I I want it. I want the interesting match. So my mm -hmm. prediction, uh, of course, it's not a prediction to make uh, when you can make a bet of this kind of prediction. But my prediction that it will be uh, interesting match. That's my prediction. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Um, so what about the the other? Um, you know, the King of the Table two. The event is happening. We have uh, Larry Wills versus um, Brandon Allen, and we have of course Hermes versus Gennady. And for the last match, I'm a little bit worried because you know he pulled with you, and he he doesn't have a lot of time to you know get like recovery and be flaming in his joints to to go against Gennady. And that was my only. Um, <sighs> like today is twenty. Six or twenty-five, I remember. Today is twenty. So uh, today's twenty-sixth, and they're gonna pull the eleventh of uh, December. So it's about like three weeks from your match, like three four weeks from uh, when you fought, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think. But uh, maybe if Hermes is too inflamed in his arm, they're gonna go with the lefty. That that's that's what I heard, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. But. Um, uh, did you get any contact from Adam Silver or Larry Wheels to go to Dubai and maybe shoot some content? Or is there anything planned in the books or you can't say anything right now? We chat a little bit. Larry and Adam, uh, mo most of the time we chat, of course, with Adam. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Adam knows that I want to go there. <laughs> I want to spend some time with both of them. I love them. I love what they did for the arm wrestling. Yes. I really impressed how they promote the arm wrestling in the world of sport. He, they both make the great things. Absolutely great. Mm-hmm. I really impressed. And of course, I want to go there. So best wishes to Larry. Best wishes to Adam. I think we can plan something like when I come back from the uh, Canada, I have some some small seminars and events. But I think, of course, I find time and I want to go there. So, so it will be yeah. next. Year. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, and me myself, I'm going to Dubai for actually next week for uh, the the event. So I will be there. I'll meet with Hermes and the others. So I really can't wait for that event. Another thing I want to ask you. So let's get a little bit deeper in the match between you and Hermes. So when the, when you guys pulled, like, how did Hermes feel? Like, do you think there was a big gap be- between his strength and your strength? Did you feel comfortable? Mm-hmm. Or was any point maybe you were like, you know? Okay, I will tell you. Uh, I will give you the answer. But before this, I will need to tell you because we speak with Hermes yesterday. And yeah. I really support him on his next match with Gennady. And I believe on him. I know that not a lot of people now believe on him, but I believe. And I really believe that he will be feeling okay. And we discuss what to do because uh, Gennady is a very smart athlete. A very smart athlete which can uh, try not to go to the strongest side of Hermes. And we discuss uh, how, how to do and uh, what to do for Hermes to not go into the trap, to mm-hmm. like uh, doing what he needs to do, in, to make uh, his game, not game of Gennady. Yes. Because, like I said before, Gennady is very, very smart athlete. Mm. Sure. A lot of it so here. I will answer you, but I will don't open the weaknesses and the strong <laughs> part of Hermes. Because, like, I think Nadia will watch everything or <laughs> some guys will tell everything to him. So if, uh, if I need to answer what, what was between us, between Hermes and me, I want to say that a little bit later, after the match with Gennady, I will tell you everything. But now the main thing that, uh, you know, it's a sport. Sometimes you are ready, you are strong. But uh, just the day when you open and won the game, of course, you need to understand why it happens. You need to analyze what, mm-hmm. what was doing by you correctly and what was doing not correctly, how to make it better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I really believe, and it's absolutely true, that Emis has very, very good, strong sides. So also, like, uh, I believe that he don't have such a weaknesses. And uh, for next match, for him, I think it's just necessary to be with cold mind, with cold head, uh, do what he needs to do, and don't go into the trap and uh, push the Gennady to play his game, to push the Gennady to play Hermes' game, not go into the, his game. Um, of course, it depends. Of course, it depends on the shape of Gennady. Yeah, he uh, improved a lot from the last match in Moldova. Yeah. Uh, you know that he did. Uh, he's very strong, but how much strong we will see. Yeah, it. Uh, I I say that everything can be in this match. True. I say that uh, this match can be really interesting. It it can be domination by Hermes. It can be domination by uh, Gennady. It can be equal long fight, tough fight between within them. I know that uh, like uh, Gennady always went, even when he pulled with Dave Chafee, like uh, every uh, next round, he tried to try something new, trying to uh, don't give a possibility to Dave to use his strong sides because Dave was stronger in some his main weapon. He was stronger, but Dave try uh, not Dave sorry Gennady was trying and trying and trying he tried everything yeah and uh, I think he, uh, he also strong mm-hmm. uh, psychologically yeah mm-hmm. but we will see we will see yeah. I think Hermes will be I hope he will be ready he will be in a good shape so uh, I think you there are the good chances for interesting match.
Mm -hmm. yes. On this match, I I say that I support so uh, Hermes because why he's uh, don't have so much time between these matches. Yes. I already know his personality. Yeah, we we speak and chat so a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and that's why I know that Gennady will be supported by Levan, by Irakli. There's a lot of people to support yeah, yeah. Gennady. Yeah. So uh, somebody yeah. needs also to support him. Mm -hmm. I will be yeah. cheering and supporting. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting match. I, I really cannot wait to see it. Uh, one thing they're saying is like, for example, Gennady, they say his weakness is in his wrist because it gets opened a bit easier. That's what you know people say around and like plus around the internet. But from the last time we saw him pull from today, he kind of completely changed, like you, like he was chubbyish, and now he's like muscle, he's built, he's jack, he's stronger than ever. We see him lifting crazy, crazy weights in the gym. And it's going to be an amazing match. It's going to be really an amazing match. And after that, he pulls with Michael Todd in January in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so crazy. We have a lot of interesting matches. Yeah. This will be interesting. And that will be absolutely 100% very interesting match. Yeah. yeah. Arm wrestling is looking very great. And as you said, we have to thank Larry and Adam for the incredible things they did. Like they yeah. make the, 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 the sport grow and it's exploding right now. And I think next year will be incredible like we will see incredible matches so uh one of my friends uh, actually told me he asked me can i please ask a question to kurdecha and you do the mediator so i will ask my friend's question and he wants to ask you if you could just for fun you know we are not here to make lists or anything if you could give me your top five list of the best armesters ever and top five of the best you think today just for fun you know we don't have to be you know pointing fingers or anything <laughs> you know, it's uh, very hard to answer. Why? I say it because I want to be like absolutely humble in my answers. And uh, we have one thing that we have a couple of leagues. Yeah? yeah. If you ask me in the PAL, in top eight, I will answer just check the list. So the first will be Levan, mm -hmm. second was Vitali, third was Evgeny. Well, fourth was uh, on Garbayev, five was Trubin. Okay. Of course, between Trubin and Garbayev, because it was depends, we have the system, if you want, if you lose your first uh, round, you can go upper than five place. But okay, we have we have five uh, guys, yeah? Mm -hmm. In If you ask me about WAL, so for today on the right, it's Devon. After that, Michael. After that, I believe, I'm not sure, it's Dave Chafee. Mm -hmm. The fourth, uh, and now and now I don't remember who is the fourth and five. I don't remember really. But yeah, first yeah, three, oh. it's uh, Devon, Michael, and uh, Dave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, if you say to me it's right or left, yeah, because we speak now only about the right. Yeah, we're the right. The right. We're talking about the right. Yeah. So I I think uh, these two leagues, yeah, is the most. Of course, we I can also tell you about WAF. Uh, there, I don't remember that Svetkov was there and uh, Mikhailenko from Ukraine also was there in heavy base. Yeah, if, it, uh, if we speak about heavy base, uh, but uh, what the things that it's impossible for today to make the match, for example, even between Svetkov and between Trubin, yeah, because uh, their federation ban Svetkov if he goes to yeah. the PAL. Yeah, yeah. Also, WAL not always give the possibilities to guys to go to PAL. So that's that's the thing when we can think about, but really we don't sure. We have our opinions, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me about my opinion, I really want to be like confident in my answer. Mm -hmm. But uh, for example, I want to see the match between uh, Gennady and between uh, Michael because this some comparison between leagues, yeah? Because Michael is from WAL mm -hmm. and uh, Gennady from WAF, <laughs> he actually didn't even in PAL, he like uh, in WAF. Mm -hmm. So also it can be interesting match between, for example, uh, Devon and uh, Vitali Laletin, yeah? Oh, yeah and yeah. it's also will be the answer to how to compare to the guys. Mm -hmm. I think I think I can say, and I will be confident on this, that Levan is number one in all leagues. Uh, and this is my opinion. And uh, I can be I can be confident and I can be true with myself if I say it because it's really what I think. Yeah. 
but about top five. So I think it's the best way to like top five from PAL, top five from WAF and from WAL. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We have some extra leagues, but okay, I think these three <laughs> leagues will be enough. <laughs> okay, I understand. And uh, the greatest of all time, who do you think? Top five. Just you mean all, all of time? Whatever? All time in all leagues, like uh, if you could quick, quickly like five names. Like for example, if I can give my list, like just humble list, like I don't nobody, but like John Berzing has to be the greatest. I would think second, maybe Dennis uh, or Pushkar. Maybe like third, uh, Devon Lairet, because, uh, you know, like these guys won a lot, stayed dominant for a lot of time. Uh, some of them uh, dominated with the two hands for a lot of time. So like kind of these rankings, you know, like uh, John Berzunk, Dennis Seplanko. Okay, Kutler, okay, I understand and, what you mean. But I will answer, I will give you five names, but without rate, right, rating. So yeah, okay, I put yeah, with them perfect. like a great team. Yes, yes. So absolutely, John, because John is like a legend and he like a motivator for a lot of guys who start to train and wrestle because of John, because of movies, because of some uh, videos when he was showing his amazing shape. Yes. Uh, also, I put Devon, like uh, Devon is the guy who nowadays make a big job for arm wrestling. He like also motivator. He is a teacher. He's absolutely open minded guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's why I think he need to be in this uh, fifth. Uh, also, if we talk about somebody from the past, I maybe even add more than five. So I want to add some names like uh, Richard Lapkis because okay. yes. I was uh, watching his videos. And I remember I asked, uh, maybe somebody also asked John, and he says that when uh, Richard was on his prime, he mm-hmm. was very, very, very strong the yes. days. When, so the guys asked to compare uh, the armrestlers of the past with armrestlers of the future or nowadays, yeah. Uh, of course, I will add Dennis, because, you know, Dennis on his time of his era, he won with everybody, yeah. Yes. So yeah. probably Dennis even can be stronger than he was, but he don't have any reason to be stronger because he won on the left with everybody, with everybody he needs to won, and also uh, he won on the right. So he he has some losses, but mm-hmm. it's even make him uh, greater that he was lose and come back stronger, lose for somebody and come back stronger and work on his cell. He was a hardly worker. And okay, how much I uh, I already take? Four. Yeah. So one extra place. Okay. Hmm. Maybe some of light categories I need to ask. Interesting. I will think because honestly, now I I want uh, to push a lot of people on this yeah, of course, place. Of course. But uh, maybe you know maybe some of the guys from the light categories like Engan Thursi, you mean or. Hang on. Maybe like in '95 or '75. I, I, I just okay. need to think. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I leave the force because on the, <laughs> okay. on the five there is many people are equal, and I want to push all of them. But it mm-hmm. will be not fair to take true. only one. So true. True, true, it's true. four, and yeah. I want to add that we have a lot of great yeah. athletes, great yes. arm wrestlers, and uh, yes. like uh, it's very responsible to get the list of arm wrestlers of all time. Because mm-hmm. everyone loves somebody more. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, that's why everyone has uh, their list. Yeah, it's true. As you said, everybody, you know, has their favorite arm wrestlers. Like I know a lot of people who love Alex Voda, for example, and then put him yeah. very, very, very high, even though he competed only for a few years. You know, as you said, we just do this for fun. It's like just a funny thing to do. And, and it, it's interesting. Yeah. So uh, for the um, upcoming matches of top eight, do you already know who you're going to face next? No, we will have like a lottery <laughs> after New Year's Eve. We okay. have the lottery. Now we have actually waiting for the uh, four, number four. Yes. We have Levan, Vitali, me. And after that, it will be competition between uh, Evgeny Prudnik and Tim Bresnan. They should pull, and uh, who won goes also to the number four. Mm. And uh, I know that probably if it will be like a real lottery, so everyone can get everyone, yeah. But uh, previous years gives uh, that answer that Levan in the Vitali are favorites, yeah. It mm-hmm. was looks like in the previous top eight, 
So if you ask me who I want to pull, I, I answer the same what I already answered. I want to pull everybody. Because for me, it's interesting to pull with everybody to check myself and to watch what to do to be better. And uh, if you ask me what people want, I know that people want me and the Vitali match. That's a lot true. of people already say that it will be, it probably can be interesting. So mm -hmm. if people want that match, maybe <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> give the people what they want, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, can you go briefly about how do you train normally? How many times a week? What exercises you do generally? You know, it's really changed. Uh, now I uh, sometimes, or the depends from how much time I have. Or uh, for example, if it's time when I can improve myself and do everyone's, I do a lot of everything. If I have the match, I know that I have, for example, two weeks or three weeks or one month. I'm concentrated and uh, very important thing, what I need to do. I'm trained sometimes three times a week, yeah, mm -hmm. or four. And sometimes I train six times a week okay. and some even, even two trainings a day. Mm -hmm. So it depends. Uh, it's all a body, like something like general things like chest or shoulders, uh, also something like uh, for arms, not for small groups, but big groups. Also for grip, also for fingers, also for wrists, a lot of things for pronation, a lot of things for the hammer. Uh, and uh, I try to uh, divide it in the like groups, which um, like if you train one group in one day, mm -hmm. so even if you train something absolutely else, so that group needs to take a rest three or four days. So if next day you will train uh, next kind of group. Something like this, because rest is also very important. I know now that rest and recovering between the trainings, especially hard trainings, are very important. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course, you study yourself. Yeah, you study how much time you need for the rest, how much time you need to progress better. And uh, now I know some formulas. Maybe I know some formulas for myself, but for the guys who watch it, I will uh, recommend to check yourself and uh, be patient and uh, uh, open yourself, uh, try to find your main weapon, yeah? And work on your weaknesses because also weaknesses should be not uh, too big uh, for you to give possibility for you to improve your biggest strengths, yeah? And uh, how to find it, you need to try. You need to try because even if somebody look at you and say, okay, you are tall, you need to be the thrower, it doesn't work like that. In general, yes, but you need to be sure, you need to check back pressure, side pressure, capping, top roll, and uh, biceps power and triceps power. You need to check everything and uh, make, <laughs> make a formula, make a list, make a results and plan your training plans or wherever you want to go for in one month. And uh, when you train, you check, you progress or you regress or you're not enough. Uh, like rested between this so mm -hmm. also it's very important to have a good or trainer or coach or guys who uh, help you with this mm -hmm. okay so for the last few questions uh just want to ask you you are a very very big man what does a such a big man eat in a day calorie wise <laughs> food wise quantity wise <laughs> Oh, you know, honestly, I think, yeah, I, <laughs> I eat a lot, a lot of calories, a lot of good meal. I, uh, I love meat, <laughs> so I'm not a vegetarian. Uh, I like uh, salads. I like, uh, like um, barbecue salads. I like uh, chicken, turkey, uh, sometimes beef, but not too much beef, which should be not more than one a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a time when I eat everything, like pizza, <laughs> hot dogs. Now I'm trying to not eat a lot of this type of food. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, prefer like home food, yeah, okay. prepared by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so it should be a lot of protein. It should be enough of carbs inside. It should be uh, enough of salads, and good salads, yeah, without the uh, juicy, spicy uh, ketchups or something. But Sometimes, yes, sometimes I do the pasta and then do the ketchup, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to find the meal and I'm trying to find with which you feel good. You mm -hmm. feel good and feel better and uh, 
we live or uh, we eat for live, but not to live to eat. Yeah, even yeah. though if we are, we are big guys, <laughs> we eat more than usual guys. <laughs> but it should be it should be good good meal. So that's mm -hmm. that's the reason. And are you planning to gain weight uh, again, or are you still comfortable yeah. here? Yeah, now I will be become stronger and wow. uh, bigger. Why? Well, what's your goal? Like how 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 big you want to get? I would, I will not pull the goal of my size. Mm -hmm. I will pull the goal of strength in some exercise. And uh, usually when I train to be stronger, I become bigger. Wow. Okay. So it's going to be incredible seeing you walking around 160, 170 kg, super big and buff. It will be incredible, <laughs> incredible. You know, for me, honestly, it's very easy to be bigger. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm If I eat more, I'm starting to, to, to get bigger. That's Viking genetics, Alex. What, what, probably, what, yes. Wow. Probably, probably, yes. Probably, yes. Yeah. Okay. Incredible. So, uh, like a new guy starts arm wrestling, he just uh, begins to starting. What would be your uh, advice for him? He, you know, he's like a newbie. He's just starting. You, you're a bit, of course, more. You have more experience and so on. Give him advice. What he can do to get stronger. I know, like it's a lot of pain in the beginning. So. Oh, this is very important thing which I want to answer you firstly. Mm -hmm. uh, young arm wrestler. Believe in yourself, be patient, don't push the limits too fast. Give your body the time. Love the process, enjoy the process. Check yourself, medium uh, power in every exercise and check oh, in which exercise you are stronger and in, in which exercise you are weaker but not uh, push uh, your limits too fast. Because yes, you will get the pain, you will get the longer recovery process, and uh, it will be makes you a little bit not so happy. You, laterly, you will know how to kill the pain, how to fight with the pain, how to build perfectly your training process. But in the beginning, enjoy your training process, but start to keep care about yourself. Don't like make exercise, okay, I'm dying and do it or I will be broke my arm. Don't do it in the beginning. So this is my main advice. Be patient with yourself. Love the process. Love the uh, goal, what you have. And uh, make, a, make a small step. Don't make a huge jumps. Make a small step for your goal. That's, that's my main answer. What you need to do if you only try and only start with this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i believe in you you will see that so if you will plan by small uh, uh, small steps you will go far away than you, when you're trying to make a big jumps so mm -hmm. i believe in this hey you're so good you should be, become a coach maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay alex so uh, we covered a lot of topics. We talked a lot of things. So it was very interesting conversation. We spoke about your upbringing in the sports and from when you were very young to till now. We talked about the match of Hermes, about your diet. Uh, we talked a lot about So it was an amazing conversation. I'm really, really excited to see what you're going to do in the future. Uh, the, the eyes all over the world are on you. Not to be pressure on you, but everybody's watching you and we're all excited <laughs> to see you. Thank you so much for doing this, brother. And if you want to say something for wrap this up, it would be amazing. So maybe you can do this again after like, I know your second match in top eight or other matches. So we can do this again and update constantly. So it will be amazing. But again, thank you. Of course. Of course. Thank you so much for this possibility to be the part of this program. Okay. I really enjoyed uh, talking with you. Thank you for these thank beautiful questions. I also some like uh, push some memories in my mind. It was enjoyable for me. And for guys who watched it, I hope it was interesting for you. And I want to uh, wish everybody of you to be healthy, to be strong, and uh, more interesting arm wrestling fights in the future for everybody of you. And uh, push, uh, put your goals, put your aims, and uh, be brave uh, and be patient with your goals. So if you will do it, uh, I believe you can, you can go uh, far away than you expect. Uh, you will check your limits and you will uh, enjoy the process. Our lesson give us this possibility to love what we do, to be better than we are and to find people around us 
which uh, makes us happier because they also love the same things which we are. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, we like a uh, bigger Mercer family. So best wishes for everybody. And thank you so much for the watch. Amazing. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Alex. We'll see you next time.